Hey guys, it's Emma here. I have a March and April pickups video for you. Basically, I was off near the end of March and I ordered some stuff that wasn't going to turn up until April. So I thought, well, I'll wait until the stuff comes. One of the things only actually came today, which I was not shocked about. I had to wait way too long for it. And um, also, I kind of went and bought some stuff on Sunday. Oops, my bad. So I just tried to amalgamate everything I bought over the past couple of months into one long video. So <laughs> apologies, it might be a long one, but uh, just sit back, put your feet up and uh, get ready. <laughs> so as I said, I was off uh, at the end of March <laughs> and um, I didn't sleep much that week because I was watching horror movies, <laughs> a lot of horror movies. Um, I watched, it was basically uh, The Grudge and The Ring. But I was watching all the originals because I have them on DVD, uh, the Japanese original, so Juon, The Grudge, and uh, the Ringu, although I think it's still called Ring in the British package, uh, you know, English packaging, um, but uh, Ringu uh, for The Ring. So I watched them, and I watched the sequels, and I watched the American remakes, and I watched ones I didn't even know about remakes, so there was like, uh, for The Ring, there was a one from, I think it was like South Korea, they did one, uh, like literally the year after the Japanese one came out called, uh, I think it's like The Ring Curse or something. So anyway, I was just really into, I still am, I'm just really into all the different versions and how they're, some of them are different, some of them are almost exactly the same, um, you know, different bits and pieces. I didn't know that there was actually a book first for The Ring. It was a book in like, early night really early 90s and then they made the movie in 98 I think it was in in Japan so yeah I didn't know it was a book first so I was like that's amazing so I went to look it up to uh, get it so I've got that now on my Kindle here on my nice uh, my nice cover for my Kindle which is falling apart now unfortunately so I'm gonna have to get a new one but yes so I got it's actually a trilogy of books which is really interesting so the first one is called Ring the second one is called Spiral and the third one is called Loop now, I would definitely recommend the first one, Ring, because it's actually, a, it's like really a different story. So they obviously made the uh, the movie and then all the remakes just watched the movie and just made the movie again. No one's really much gone and made a movie based on this book so much. Um, the characters are slightly different. One of them's a, a man instead of a woman. The friend is is like it's like a friend instead of a hus an ex husband and like it's really it is a different story. There are bits in it that are more. Um, they touch on in the Japanese uh, sequel, which is the Ring Zero, which is I think the third movie, and it's when it goes way back to when uh, Sadako was a child. And, and a, a young woman and before she went down the well. Um, so it's really interesting, it's a really good book. I would definitely say you have to get Ring. Um, now I can't remember exactly the name and I don't want to butcher it but I think it's something like Koji Suzuki but if I got that wrong I'm really sorry but as I say go and find it, read it because it's, it's like really a new story which is amazing um, and as I say I had no clue that this came first. Um, so that's amazing. The second one is really good as well. Um, slightly, again, slightly different from, well, completely different from the sequels. It's a different story. Um, and then the, the third one is kind of more science-y and it just wasn't as good. It's still worth a read because it kind of brings everything around, but it's totally gone off on a completely different tangent and it wasn't as good. But I have read them all and I would recommend especially the first one. <laughs> so I got them. Um, I also got... And I don't care what you say, I don't care, I like the series, the <laughs> Shopaholic series. So this is the latest one in paperback, because I have them all in paperback. So I always wait until the paperback comes out, which is always like ages after for books. It's so annoying, why don't they release the hardcover and the paperbacks at the same time? For a few books I get uh, paperback copies and I have to wait for like months until the paperback version comes out. It drives me crazy. But anyway, this is, God knows which one in the series this is, but it's quite a few in. Uh, it's the newest one, as I say, it's Shopaholic to the Rescue by Sophie Kinsella. And I can't help it, I don't know why. I don't usually like this kind of book, but this series, I just really enjoy reading it. So yes, I'm weird, but whatever. <laughs> Back to normal Emma, <laughs> what you're expecting. I bought more Walking Dead comics. 
So I got Walking Dead Volume 19, March to War. I got Walking Dead Volume 20, All at War, which is Part 1. And I got Volume 21, which is All at War, Part 2. So I am well aware that the comics came before the TV series. I'm well aware of that, but I watched the series first. So the way I do it is I try and watch further ahead and then read the comics. Um, for this last series, what is it, season six? Um, I, I love the comics, I think they're amazing. The seasons, mm, they come and go. Uh, I've watched them all, but yeah, they're, some of them are really bad and some of them are okay and it got better near the end of this one. Uh, I mean, the finale, wow. <laughs> but the thing is, I didn't know, obviously, um, where I was with the comics and the series, so I accidentally read ahead in the comics, so I'm slightly ahead, but it doesn't actually make a difference because some of the things happen to completely different people, as you'll know if you've been reading the comics as well, or you've read the comics as well. So I'm going to, I bought them, but I think I'm going to hold off for a little while, but I might just start reading the comics further in because there's so many still to go, as I say, they're first. So I might just carry on reading the comics because I really enjoy them and not wait for the season, the next season to start. I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet, but I've got them, so that was awesome. As I said, I'm totally obsessed right now with The Grudge and The Ring and all the different remakes and variations and sequels and prequels and everything. Um, so I went and bought, uh, I found what I could. So I got The, the Ring. The Grudge um, was not a book first, it was always a movie. It was actually, um, Joe on the Grudge wasn't actually the first movie, it was just the first one that was released in theatres and it was a, a big success. Before that there was actually, um, by the same director, there was just Juon. I think some people call it Juon the Curse, I'm not 100% sure, I can't remember, but they're on YouTube, so go look them up. And they were like apparently like straight to video um, movies, straight to video, they weren't really released or anything like that, um, you know, publicly or whatever. They weren't big hits or anything, they were straight to video, but then after that, the idea spawned for Jew on the Grudge, which then became the American remake of The Grudge, which is also amazing. I actually really like that one as well. And, um, you know, it spiralled from there. But as I say, it wasn't a book first ever, it was always a movie. So I found a book of the movie. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is Jew on the Grudge or the original, original, just Jew on because it's just called Jew on. So I'm not sure. I'll have to find that out. Um, I haven't looked at it. I mean, it's the same story, but in the um, the originals, which came out, I think it was late 90s, whereas I think Juon came out 2002 or something, right about there. Um, it's a slightly different story. There are different characters in it. Um, and I got, where are we? I got this manga, which is um, called Juon Video Side. Now it says on it that it's, um, where does it say? It says somewhere that it's like from the movie, but I can't remember if it actually says it's based on The Grudge, Juon, or the original, because it's not based on Juon The Grudge, it's totally based on the original movie, because after having watched that, this is, sorry, I'm holding the wrong way down. This is totally like the original which went straight to video. So it has the same idea obviously, there's the same Kayako and uh, Toshio and the dad, I totally forgot his name right now, but um, they're all, they're all, you know, the, the spawn, the story, but it's a different, there's like a family living there, it's not the, you know, the mom that needs to cater, it's a different story. So this is definitely worth reading as well, um, if you've seen the original or not, this is definitely Good, I did like it. Um, it wasn't, because it's manga, like it wasn't as scary as I wanted it to be. There are one or two panels which are creepy, but, um, and they are really, they are really well drawn. But you know, it's, a, it's manga, so I don't find it as like horrifying or scary in the pictures or anything. <laughs> but it's good as well. I also got the Ring manga. Now I haven't read this one yet, so I'm looking forward to that. And it is a lot thicker, um, so this will be a nice long read for me. Um, I think there's quite a few of these as well. I've only bought the first one of both of these just to see how they go because there's a couple and some of them are going for like stupid money because these are obviously the ones that are translated into English and 
I don't think there's many going about or so like they, they they were getting to be stupid money so I had to like kind of find ways to to get them so I think I found this one on eBay because on Amazon it was like 20 30 40 pounds and I was like well no and I found it for like seven pounds something on eBay because it's got slight you know wear and tear and I was like well I'm not keeping them for collector's editions or anything I just want to read them so that's fine so that's okay with me but uh, yeah so that's the ring uh, manga so I'm really looking forward to that I don't know if I'll buy them all because I think they do have a ring zero for this one as well which is when like before she was you know killed and put in the well and I really wasn't interested in that story because I had that DVD for the Japanese one and I didn't really like it I just watched it again recently and I decided to get rid of it because I'm just I don't know it's just not great it's just kind of like feels like they just wanted to make another movie like American movies do sometimes for sequels and things so yeah I didn't I, I don't know I'm gonna get rid of that one so I don't think I'll buy that manga but I might because it might be more interesting it might be better I don't know the other thing I did was I signed up for City World Unlimited Card which is awesome and I'm really <laughs> making use of it already if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram you'll know so I don't know if they have it in America but City World is a chain of cinemas and we have two in Aberdeen and basically with this card you can watch as many movies as you want a month for only £16.90 which is not that cheap but when you consider that a cinema ticket nowadays here is over £10 for one ticket then £16.90 for a month is you know as long as you go see two movies you've more than made your money back so that's awesome so I've signed up for that so as long as I go see two movies a month I will keep it going for you know after the first year because it well the first your contract lasts a year you can't get out of it so I'm like oh god but <laughs> I've kept on with tickets and I'll count them up at the end of the year and I'll see if I've made it worth it and I'll carry on I probably will because there's so many movies coming out that I want to see <laughs> especially this year I'm glad I signed up this year I've been going so much <laughs> um now as I say those are the things I got in uh, in March so in April which was um the things I got on Sunday, I went out, I really wanted to get a, a, a certain pop figure that I've been wanting for a while and I'd seen it in a shop but I was like well my birthday's coming up, my birthday was on the 11th so I was like I don't know what people are buying me, um, I'm not going to buy it just in case. So I didn't get it for my birthday which was perfectly fine because I got some amazing things if you've seen my birthday pickups video you'll totally agree. Um, so I was like well I'll go buy that on Sunday then with some of my birthday money. So um, I popped into town I went to the, the place I'd seen it, one of the comic book shops in um, our town and unfortunately the paint jobs, well there was only two of the one I wanted and the paint jobs were bloody terrible and I know some people don't care but like if I'm paying £10 for a piece of plastic I want it to at least look good <laughs> so I know it's just a piece of plastic but I want it to look good so I was a bit disappointed um, I thought I was going to go home with nothing I went and got um, a free donut at Krispy Kreme donuts though which was awesome because they sent me an email for my birthday so that was cool I got my free donut but I was kind of walking around like oh that's it then I'm going home with nothing um so I, I just happened to go into the the other comic book shop we have now their pops are a bit more pricey usually so I was like oh I don't even know if I'll if I'll go for this but I found the pop I wanted and it was actually a pound less than in the um the other shop which was awesome so I got it. So it's the uh, Roller Derby Harley Quinn, which I've been wanting for so long. So it's from the um, graphic novel series, which um, I read the first one and I loved it. I haven't read the second one yet. I think there's actually like the third volume is out now. So but I haven't gotten to uh, purchasing them, but I will <laughs> because I really enjoyed it. So let me get her out of the box and just have a look because I haven't taken any of these out of the box yet. I always wait for you guys. So there's a bit of muck on her face but I'm sure I can sort that out. Uh, this was the best paint job I could find so it is and it is really good. Um, there's a bit of a mark on her butt but no one's gonna see that. <laughs> so she's got her uh, red and black hair, her mallet and she's got her little roller skates on here at the bottom with her knee pads and everything. So that's really cool. Um, I like the outfit as well and I like for, for whatever reason she seems to be wearing like pearls I can't remember that bit in the, the comic but I'm sure it was there um so yes this is the roller derby Harley Quinn and I like this one because it just, just looks like more I don't know sinister darker she's got like the eyeshadow around her eyes I just really like this one so that's the first one I got um 
Does she stand up? Oh, she does stand up. Yay! <laughs> um, the other one I got was um, I, I I'd seen I, I really like most of the Harley Quinns. I have the Arkham Knight one, I think. So that would be my second Harley Quinn. And I do like, and I've been looking at for ages, the nurse Harley Quinn from the Arkham Asylum game. That was the first one I ever looked at, and that's the one I liked. Um, but I've just never gone around to get it because either the paint job has been bad, or I don't know, I just haven't been feeling it. Like, I picked it up and I've just been like, I don't know, and, you know, if I don't know, I just don't. <laughs> because I really don't need to be spending money and filling up my flat with things that I'm not sure I really want. So I haven't yet. Um, but that one was there as well, so I picked it up again paint job wasn't perfect so I was like well never mind I put it back I walked along a bit and just down there there was like four more of, of both of them so I went and checked and got a good paint job so I went and I got my nurse Harley Quinn as well yay <laughs> so as I say this is from the Arkham Asylum Batman collection and um, I love that game like oh my god I love that game and I have the Joker already um, I got that for Christmas. I think it was Christmas this year. Uh, well, this last year. I got that for Christmas. So I actually have a matching Harley and Joker now. <laughs> Which is awesome. Because I think that's the only Joker I have. Yes, it is. Because um, I was always thinking about getting the Heath Ledger one, but I was like, oh, I don't know. And I prefer the Arkham Asylum Joker. To be honest, I just do. Because I love him in the games. I think he's amazing. He's. I think he's my favourite Joker in the game. The game joker <laughs> but yes i love the paint job on this as well and the like bright colors for the the kind of purpley and the red boots that they're all shiny i just love it and um the badge the warden badge on this one and you probably won't be able to see this at all <laughs> but the warden badge on this one is amazing um a lot of them were kind of like scuffed or like the, they didn't look right but you can like see the proper badge with the name and the 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 words on it and everything so yes that's my nurse harley quinn which is awesome so now i have three harley quinns <laughs> and my last pop that i bought on sunday was Freddy krueger yay i got my uh needle fingers freddy krueger now again i have seen this one uh, the first time i ever saw this one online um, and I saw, I think Joe Manganero had it on his channel as well. And the first time I saw it, I was like, that is the coolest thing ever. I need that. And I had just been watching the um, Nightmare on Elm Street movies for my 31 Nights of Horror that I did in October. So I had never seen the sequels before. So this is from the third Nightmare on Elm Street movie. And I that's one of my favourites out of all the sequels, I think, for the Nightmare on Elm Street and I loved this scene and I was like that is so cool so as soon as I saw the pop I was like oh my god that's amazing I need that right and obviously it's uh, it's never going to be in the UK it's going to take ages I'm never going to find it it's never going to be here it's going to be stupid amounts online blah blah so I just never bothered but then oh, a little while ago a few weeks ago it was actually in this comic book shop um, but I didn't buy it because it didn't look right and there was like three of them, I think, and they all looked completely different paint jobs. Like all the all the faces, like the heads, were totally different colours from each other. And I was like, I don't know which one I think looks better. Um, the so the needle fingers didn't really look that great. They were all like smudged and stuff as well. So I was like, I'm just gonna leave it. But then this time on Sunday, I went in. There was just one. He looked great. So I was like, screw it. I'm buying him. <laughs> so he is mine now, and he looks awesome. Freddy Krueger with his uh, needle fingers, syringe fingers, whatever you want to call them, and his uh, bald head <laughs> is awesome. Now I still need to get an, like a normal Freddy Krueger with a hat and everything, because I want with a hat and the, the glove, I want that, but I don't have one yet. And um, again, as I say, we've only got like, two comic book shops, and they don't have loads of pops, not like Hot Topics or anything where there's like a whole wall of pops. It's not like that here, um, unfortunately, and it means that the pops that are on display at the time are the ones for the movie that's out right now or you know so we've got like all the civil war ones right now and stuff um so i'm gonna have to wait until probably around about october time and i'll maybe be able to get like a normal freddy and that'll be awesome because then i can add him to my horror row of pops so um the last thing i got which was just a kind of um random spur of the moment pickup at the same the same comic book shop 
was this Prometheus graphic novel. Now, again, if you've seen my Breath to Pick Ups, you'll know that I also got my um, Alien, all the Alien movies and Prometheus in a box set on Blu-ray for my boyfriend, which is freaking awesome. Um, and I saw this and I just picked it up and it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be, I haven't read it yet, it's supposed to be um, basically like a, a graphic novel made set after the movie Prometheus, so like what happened afterwards and like what happened when, um, you know, the, the crew from the Prometheus didn't, didn't come back home, what happened after that, like so they've sent another crew to the planet to see what happened and what happens then. So I'm like, well that's kind of interesting, so it's not just a comic book of the movie, which I do like that kind of thing. Um, a lot of my comic books are from originally books or movies or TV shows. I have a lot of them because I like that. But for this, I thought that's really interesting, it's a totally new story. So what I was going to do, because Alien Day is coming up on the 26th, which I'm really excited about, as you can tell, because, you know, <laughs> I have a few alien things now. <laughs> what I was going to do was the day before Alien Day, if I can manage to fit it into my busy schedule, is um, on the, I think it's Tuesday, isn't it? So on the Monday, I'm going to watch Prometheus. Then I'm going to start reading this. Then on the Tuesday for Alien Day, I'm going to watch Alien. So I can't wait to watch two of my new Blu-rays because I've never seen them on Blu-ray before, I don't think. So it's really exciting. <laughs> um, so yes, and I'll, I'll read this and I'll see how it is. But I think it's just a standalone. I, actually, it says part one at the bottom, but it doesn't say collecting issues, you know, this to this. So I think it's maybe just a kind of standalone thing, or maybe they're going to do another book somewhere down the line. I'm not 100% sure, but it's got some artwork here at the back. I haven't even opened it properly. It's got some artwork and stuff at the back, and it looks like there's some, um, you know, they do, it must be the, the company must be Fire and Stone, and they do Prometheus, they do Aliens, they do Aliens vs Predator, and they do Predator. So I think they do things for, for all these movies, so that would be interesting to see if I can find any more, maybe, because I love my aliens. I'm not so keen on Predator, but I love my aliens. So that is the last thing I got, I think. That's <laughs> the last thing I got. So yes, a quick, really quick recap. So I got my Princess graphic novel, I got my two Harley Quinn pops, and my Freddy. I got a cinema card got my two manga, I got the Juan and the ring, I got the Juan book, I got the Sophie Kinsella Shopaholic book, because it's awesome, I got some books for my Kindle, and I got the next three um, Walking Dead comics. I think that's everything. <laughs> so yes, that was my massive pickups video for the last couple of months. I'll have to make sure I don't buy anything for the rest of this month so I don't have to do another video. <laughs> So that was it. Guys, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you like. Let me know what you didn't like. Let me know if I made you jealous, because I love it. <laughs> and I uh, happy Aliens Day for everyone, if I don't see you before then. And um, that's it for this one. Catch you next time. Bye!